I'm pleased and honored to show you what I have next to work on. The legendary, iconic, lawsuit series, Takamine, the F340, supposed to be similar to a Martin D18. It's just one of the best dreadnoughts of all time. When I first opened the case, I was kind of enchanted with how it sounds, and I wrote a little song. It's in a weird tuning, and it's missing a string, but it sounds great. <laughs> As much fun as it is to play, even while it's still in the case, I do kind of have to get to work on getting it set up. Before I take the strings off, I'm going to loosen this truss rod just a quarter turn for starters. So I'll loosen it a quarter turn. Wow, it's really tight. Alright, let's uh, start with an eighth of a turn for starters. But aside from how the action is playing, the only other problem is one side of the fret is just a teeny tiny bit up off the fretboard. I look for any places that the string is getting stuck. And so fortunately at least, I'm not able to make the string actually get stuck under any of the ends. So I'm going to roll the fret ends when I'm done leveling it. Make sure there's absolutely nothing pointing or anything that can catch. Taking the old strings out, in with the new. This is going to be set up for 1152s. That is so cool. This has an adjustable bridge. I might fell down the top a little bit just to get rid of these grooves in there. But I will want to keep it on its 12 inch radius. Then to set the height, I'm probably going to have to file down the bottom a little bit. So that when the screws are lowered all the way, the action will be about 464 on either side. It's very cool that you can adjust there. I'm going to give the truss rod an eighth of a turn for the second time before I put these new strings on. I'm going to get the new strings in here. I think I've done enough examining. It's time to tape up the frets and then bust out the tools. Still want to be careful, but that'll protect the fretboard. Now it's time to mark up the frets. Let's see what frets are too tall and what frets are too low. Looks like there's one or two frets that are a little high. This one's a little shy, and then these guys aren't making great contact because of the ones that are too high. I don't think I have to take off too much material. There's just one or two frets that are a little too high or low. Got the string spacer in, the frets are marked up, and the strings are on. This is the easiest. Of I'm basically just taking the marker off. I love when the frets are all shiny. They're ready to be crowned. Mark the frets again, this time, to get ready to crown them. Crowning the frets, pretty straightforward. I'll be using this U-shape Gurian file. One side, then the other. Repeat 20 times. All I have to do now is polish the frets with some quadruple off steel wool before rolling the fret ends. Here's a before and after example. Here's before. One edge is good, the other one's sticking out and sharp a little bit. Now you can see the edge is moved back from the edge of the fretboard and that sharp point is gone. To make sure the fret ends are good, I'm going to make sure that none of them catch the loops in this terry cloth towel. And I sand down the bridge so I go little bit by bit and keep checking. With this adjustable bridge, if you go too far, you can really just raise up the bridge. On other guitars, if you accidentally go too far while sanding on the bridge, you either have to boost it up with something underneath, or start over with a new bridge. So I've got the bridge sanded down, and the action's at its proper height. I can do some test playing and see if there's any buzz. So all these frets are playing okay. These ones, I'm starting to get a little bit of buzz. 
So I'm going to add a little bit of fall away. Get all these dead level one last time. It should be good like that. I'll put the strings on again and check it. If it's good, then I'm going to put the final crowning and polishing on the last highest up frets. All the nut slots were pretty good. I can tell they feel pretty good, but uh, double checking with my feeler gauge. This one is 17 thousandths of an inch. Definitely catches under the high E string, and when it's in tune, plays, plays clean with no buzzing. On the low E string, well under 20 thousandths of an inch. This won't even pass under at all. And it plays clean with no buzzing. So let's hear how all the rest of the frets sound. I don't have a lot of time for this demo video because the guy who owns this guitar is gonna come and pick it up. But to give you an idea of what I got going. Sounds nice.